Hey, everybody. If you enjoy the video, please go ahead and hit that like button. And if you really enjoy it, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the video. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Backpack Battles. I'm Heron Steinbear, and today we have another huge patch for Backpack Battles, possibly one of the biggest changes, at least since I've been playing the game. They added a new item, but that's not the exciting part. They've completely changed the way both classes work. Even some could say the way the entire game works. So now both classes start with more bag space, more gold, but neither one gets a starting weapon. That's right, neither class has a weapon to start with. The reroll cost for each round now scales up after three rolls and after nine rolls. So it goes from one per reroll to two, and I believe to four at that point. They've also made subclasses start even sooner at round seven instead of round eight and then made a bunch of other various balance changes that you can see here on the screen one of the coolest ones i think is the deck of cards now gives luck right from the start of battle i can't wait to try out some of this new stuff i don't know how to feel about like the reroll change and the change to the backpacks and stuff so we're just going to jump right into it with ranger kind of been my favorite class from the beginning so i'm gonna give it a shot here i mean we got to take the wooden sword i guess uh probably want to take a pan also it's crazy having so much space right from the start here's a lump of coal that they just added so on attack you get 60 percent chance to deal plus one damage start of battle if it's in an armor slot you just get three block right from the start and you resist a debuff and then if it's just hanging out in your backpack every three seconds you'll gain a random buff and inflict a random debuff which honestly seems kind of broken to me to just be able to apply a debuff get a get a buff and apply a debuff every three seconds i mean is is kind of crazy honestly and i realize it's a random one so you can't really uh cater it too much to a specific build type but that being said if you put a bunch oh it's after three seconds it's not every three seconds so it only only works once good to know good to know all right well we got that first win there we'll go ahead with a uh, I saw that Piggy got a little bit of a change. I don't know exactly what that change, or the Lucky Piggy, I should say, got a little bit of a change. Not sure exactly what that change is. So we'll uh, keep looking at it here. I kind of want to take a bunch of coal, but I don't know if that makes sense. Only a 60% chance to deal one damage. And with the backpack buff, with it only being once a round, that feels a little lackluster. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe coal kind of sucks. We'll throw it. We'll throw it on the wooden sword. I think that's probably the best place for it. Get a little bit more buff for it. And I mean, really, it's only a 60% chance to do that extra one damage. So it's not every time. It's not a consistent thing there. All right, well, we can take another bag. We can let, oop, then go another coal on the frying pan and create our hero sword. And then we'll get started with that. See where we go from here. See what happens. All right, you're gonna be gaining a couple block there, but that's just at the start of battle. Again, that just happens once. You're resisting two debuffs, but I don't think we are applying any debuffs at the moment. We are stamina starved, which is interesting because we didn't have that problem. I guess this time the match is lasting longer because of the uh, buckler and the spike shield that they have there. Interesting, interesting. All right, cool, cool. There we go, hero sword ready to go. Throw that back on there, put that there so that we can, so that it'll buff our frying pan. Oh, and I didn't even... I had my Lucky Piggy set up wrong. Definitely going to need more stamina. And then we'll take a... We will take a... Uh, there we go. Blueberry also for more buffs to the frying pan. Getting started. Going to make a Lucky Pig this time. 
We've got this, a little bit more stamina with our stamina bag, so we should be better off there. I don't remember if there were any changes to the shovel. Doesn't seem like it. We got any shovel changes here? Yeah, no, I would have thought they would have changed that. I think they might have changed it last time, though. Okay, so Lucky Piggy now... The 25% more likely chance, or 25% bonus to the chance of triggering effects. So that's a little bit of a nerf for the pig. That's okay, though. If we move this over, we can throw that there, that there. Our second banana can then go there. We could do a little pandemonium. Start a little pandemonium. That doesn't seem like a bad idea. I haven't been affected by the reroll uh, change yet at all. I'm trying to, rather than like force the issue, trying to just play it normally and see if it's even something that affects me. Because honestly, if I don't really pay attention to how much I reroll, I know when I'm going for a specific build I reroll more than others obviously more than other times I should say but I don't think it's necessarily like overtly overtly too much or anything so maybe it's just one of those things where like other people are rerolling a hell of a lot probably want that Just keep it like that for now. Buy a healing potion, another bag. Sure, I'll buy another one of them. Put that there, that there, and that there. That helps everything out. Helps it activate a little bit quicker. I don't know that putting like two of these coals on there really changes that much. But does applying, I guess the, I, I get a buff, they get a debuff. So maybe that's, maybe that's worth it. Maybe it's worth it. So yeah, I gave them two blind and a frost, it looks like. And then I got a heat and a spikes. Is that what happened? I think, I think that's what I got out of the deal. There we go. Got a win. Got a win out of it. Do they count as nature? They don't. They're gemstones. Gemstones are nature. Gemstones are nature. What are you talking about? Maybe we take the poison ivy then. Maybe we take poison ivy. That's probably a pretty good call. don't really see anywhere great to put it at the moment. Just because everywhere, that's, that would be a good spot. Yeah, so we'll take that. Oh, damn, I should have shown it. Uh, another one of the big changes they just made, completely forgot to talk about it, is that the arrow, the uh, crit arrow, has a different buff pattern. So instead of being in a straight line, it's a triangle coming off of it. So yeah, we'll have to take a look at that if we get another run in this video. Otherwise, we'll have to show it off in a different video. Or maybe, oh, this guy has one here. We can pause it real quick. So yeah, as you can see, the stars are in front and then to the back two sides and then the diamonds are immediately beside they've also lowered the chance to gain luck uh, with the diamond activations so yeah a little bit of i don't know if it's a nerf or a buff i don't i think it's a little bit of a nerf it's a little bit of a nerf to the luck generation but i think that's a better pattern for the uh I think it's a better pattern for the actual 
enhancement of crits. It'll be easier to get a bunch of weapons around it like that. Okay, this is probably pretty good, taking the magic lamp there, because it'll get us more luck, it'll get us more spikes, actually it'll get us mana more than anything probably. At least once we get up to three mana, then we get a little bit of spikes, a little bit of luck, a little bit more mana, all kinds of stuff. And this, yeah, once they get 13 poison, we start doing a bunch more damage, so that's pretty good. We got low stamina usage, so I'll go ahead and throw that there. And then we'll take this and put that there. Don't think we have anything that is luck based at the moment for our pigs to point at so it would be nice to get something like that definitely want to buy that I'll move that up top put another blueberry down here to speed stuff up you know what and honestly it would probably be faster to do that then I don't have a home for that potion anymore, which is unfortunate. We can take another luck there. Yeah, I mean, definitely taking another luck. Definitely saving the pineapple, and I think I want to save the holy armor, just because I'm hoping to have some armor left for my genie lamp. We want the mana orb. Maybe I also want the mana orb. That's going to be a lot of gold, though. Okay, so maybe not the Holy Armor. Maybe we skip the Holy Armor. We can get a different set. I'd probably prefer to have like Vampiric Armor for this build, to be honest with you. Ooh, come on. Ah, oh, damn. Damn, them cleansing the, their debuffs kind of fucked us there. All right, perfect. Well, now we can... Oh, that's another change. They removed the cap from Mana Orb, so now it doesn't change its effect at 10. But we can totally now point our piggies at something. So there we go. Just buff the shit out of that Mana Orb. Hang on to that. And then... Another carrot. Meh. Meh. There's another blueberry. Guess we could speed up. Oh, that's not the right thing. Take a blueberry and another coal. Just keep filling our bag with coal. All right, here comes a carrot goober build. Are these still as scary as they used to be, I wonder? I mean, they're gonna cleanse a bunch of debuffs, but yeah, we're, we're kicking their ass so far. Fuck yeah, that it was not bad at all, actually. Not bad at all. I mean, they didn't get a ton of Empower. We had three Empower. We must have gotten it from our lumps of coal. Did this go off? It did not, because we did not have any armor. Hmm, okay. Well, let's, let's do that. We'll, again, hang on to the holy armor here. Still don't have enough for another pineapple. No, no. All right, we'll just get started with that. We're gonna need a lot more space here soon. Use a lot of empty space there. Yeah, so there you can see the full pattern of the crit arrow. Ooh, I think that went off. Yeah, it did. Fuck yeah, it did. Nice. Nice, nice. Any big damage that I missed? Okay, okay. 16 crit there. No, I mean, nothing nothing too insane that I saw anyway. No big crits with the hero sword, but that's okay. We'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, let's buy that.
save a Jinx Torquilla. And then we need again more space. I don't think I'm going to save the pineapple. It's going to take a lot of space. It is great. I do love pineapple. Maybe I do save it. I just really want to get this holy armor in the bag, and it is, like, keeping that from happening. Save that, too. Slide over, and then make... Get a bunch of more space with that potion belt, plus then get even more effect from our potions. There we go. Did that go off? It did not. Shit. Ooh, but there are some big crits. Oh, they were, they were big numbers anyway. They were big numbers. I got up to 10 to 12. Man. Ooh, that was going off real fast. 0.64. That heat, I guess, right? All right. Well, we're down to our last heart. That's a little bit scary. A little bit scary. Slide those over like that. Put uh, that there, I guess, for now. I don't know. I do want a pineapple, but I really, like I said, I really need to get this armor in this bag. Mm. Okay, all right. This should help me, I think. Yeah, here we go. I can just move these down. And honestly, I probably could have done that before. But that's okay. Anything I can sell? I could sell both of those, but I kind of need that slot to fit them in. I guess I could sell a stone. That gives me one. And then maybe one of my coals. Yeah, I could probably sell a coal and then get this individual here. Kind of like the idea of doing that. Although I wish it was like one more back, like that. Let's see, let's see if we can't rearrange this a little bit. I think we probably can. Do like that and that. These come down here. That goes there, that goes there. All right, now then, that's there, that's there. Actually, put them up top. Then we do that that. This goes here. Mm. Really like that there. There we go. That can get both of those like that. And then throw my coal back there. I throw my coals in here. Because I don't know that those three debuffs are really changing all that much, right? Start a battle gain three, so if I put them all in the armor, that would get me another nine, and I would resist three debuffs. That seems okay, I guess. But people who are applying debuffs apply a lot more than three. And I don't feel like being able to resist three is that insane honestly that's four that's five that's also five sure uh okay i mean that's not really doing anything for us we bought it on sale i guess it does give us a little bit of vampirism a wee bit of vampirism there's some good armor for us to start with oh but we lose our 
come on. Hey, there it goes. Hero Sword is activated. Let's get them big damage numbers out there. There's an 80. I saw an 80. Oh, and then an on sale. On sale holy armor. Okay, we can throw this somewheres. Just do that like well. Do that like up there, maybe. Another carrot. Speed that up a bit. Then do that and that, and then put that there. Kind of feel like I want it. I want them next to each other. Which is the unfortunate bit. That could be there. And then. That goes there. Oop. Nope. That needs to go back there then. Okay. This still gets everything in its little little net there. Put that back. Throw that there. I'm losing a banana like this though. Which really sucks. So maybe I'll put that there and then just deal with the fact that this banana is not getting buffed by anything and honestly why don't I move this oh 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 that's not what I wanted to do Could do like like that because this goes off faster right yeah but that doesn't This gets with the 10% reduction from everything. It's probably, probably pretty decent. Book of Light wouldn't be a bad call to hold on to. Actually, I don't want to hold on to that leather bag. I don't have any space to fit it in there anywhere. It's going to be a lot of blind. I kind of wish I had that debuff uh, resistance at the moment. Come on. Ugh. Health potion should hopefully make my armor go, and then... Hey! Did we get... Yes, we did! Fuck yeah! Okay, well, I mean, let's start survival round. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. And here I was worried. Cheap genie lamp. Cooldown is 2, cooldown is 1.4. Almost wondering if I should, like, figure out a way to swap these so this is getting... But, I mean, this get, this attacks so fucking fast. Like, I think that's probably the, call, the way to go still. I also don't think I want to do any more whetstones to buff it any further. I think it's good where it's at. I'm going to finally take that pineapple I've been talking about this whole damn time. And there it is. We got our first time where it would have cost more, but now we're out of gold, so we can't even reroll again. So yeah, maybe that reroll thing honestly just isn't that big a deal. That's what it seems like to me anyway. But I could be wrong. We'll see how it goes as the uh, as the rounds progress. There we go. Oh, 83 damage crit. This is great. 32 to 34. Fuck yes. Yeah, that's hitting all that stuff. So, that is awesome. Pull that there. There's another stamina bag. So now we can fit our pineapple in there. Let's throw another protective purse in. And then, hmm, 
gonna keep an eye on our stamina this time and see where we're at. I mean, we're at low stamina usage. So realistically, I could probably sell that, uh, that banana there. Realistically, I could probably sell that banana. Do that, Do that there, get us a little bit more space. I don't think that actually changed anything now that I look at it. Oh, I can move that down. Then that gets us up to six. I feel like we were at six before, though. So, yeah, maybe that didn't actually do anything for us. Oh, well. Oh, there we are. Already at two. I must have rerolled more than I remember. But, yeah, I don't think it's worth the two. So, I think we just kind of go with what we got here. Oh, wait. Fuck. I just realized I am not using these two blueberries to the best of their ability, which is unfortunate. Okay, I need you to hurt me a little bit more, not too much more though. There we go. Oh my god, did that go off twice? I think they went off twice, got 60 to 62 damage. Holy hell. Yeah, I mean, dealt 76 with Hero Sword on a non-crit. And, I mean, they must have both gone off. Hero Sword gained 27. Hero Sword gained 27. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Thank you, Stone Skin Potion. Gotta love it. It's fucking great. Oof, I really want this to go in there with it. Let's hang on to that. Can move this over here. I mean, realistically, I don't need that blood amulet. Um, you know what I could do? I could move this here. And then put that there, that there. And then do something like that. That probably works for us. Sell this banana. I don't think we need it. And see what else is in store for us. <laughs> Get it? Because we're in the store. That was a bad joke. I'm sorry. I understand if you want to unsubscribe. I apologize. I just, I feel like I let you all down on that one. I let you down. I let myself down. Let the entire YouTube community down. And here we are having to live in this world where I made that dumbass joke. But hey, we're starting with 194 armor and a lot of fucking buffs. And already, I think, used a... Nope, we did not. We did not. Bam. There we go. Big old damage. Big old damage. I saw a crit, but I didn't see the number. Gain 27. Uh, oh, it was just a 78. It wasn't even a crit. And then a 76 as well. Yeah, I mean, when you're doing 76 damage every 0.7 seconds, you're, uh, you're kind of fucking nuts. Let's see. Let's actually see where we're at. So, yeah, here at the end. Hero Sword jumped up to 281 damage, 15 damage per second. I mean, the best he had was 5.6 damage per second. That is insanity. Absolute insanity. There we go. Filling up the bag. I don't want to take anything else that's going to use stamina. But I do not know how I want this to happen, but I really want to put these gloves right next to the hero sword. I lose a slot on my pandemonium there if I do that. I'd like to speed that up even more, or maybe I just speed up a genie lamp, right? Or even just put a genie lamp there to get another one going at it. I mean, I could move 
these down. That doesn't really help a ton. We've only got one round left, so maybe it's not even worth it to really worry about. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's not even worth it to worry about. Just keep rerolling, see what else we can find. I mean, we could always just take another Book of Light, slide these back up, get a little bit more healing out of it. That seems like the most intelligent thing to do, especially because then that'll clear the blind, and that's probably the most dangerous debuff to us right now. So yeah, let's uh, let's just do that and get started on the final run. Oh, and lots of fucking poison plus a pumpkin to try and stun us. He's got the stunner. There we go. We got this activated once. Can we activate it a second time? Not even time to. Just fucking took him out so goddamn quickly fucking a plus 97 gotta or plus 20 i should say trophies gotta love it i you know what i was really skeptical of this stamina change that they did uh or not stamina sorry the reroll change that they did but it didn't affect me at all and so maybe what i'm kind of thinking is there were people just really like re-rolling the shit out of the store. And so maybe this is a good change. I think I kind of liked it. I didn't mind not having a weapon to start. It's really easy to buy a weapon. Plus they give you that extra gold. It was great having a little bit of extra bag space to start with. And the coal I'm still up in the air about. It doesn't seem very effective, but I don't think it's supposed to be super effective. I think it's just supposed to be a little something to give you a little bump right there at the beginning. So I don't I don't hate the idea of the call either. Overall, I think this was an awesome update. I'm really excited to see how the classes develop now that you don't have a starting weapon. It should lead to a lot of more variability in the classes and in the battles you see. And it makes RNG a much more important factor in this game, which I think is really important. So I I, I am sold on this patch. I was not a fan when I first read the patch notes, but you know what? You definitely got to give it a try for yourself. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. I put on a new video. Uh, if you enjoy content like this, sorry, then go ahead and subscribe. I put out a new video every single day. And if you have any comments on this build or other games you'd like to see me play, other builds you'd like to see me try, or just want to stop by and say, hey, please leave a comment. It does so much for the algorithm. It helps spread the channel or the video all over YouTube, which grows the channel and is just a huge help in general and means the world to me. And if you want to help the channel further than that, you can always click the link down in the description to become a member right here on YouTube, get access to our member exclusive Discord, the Bear Cave, as well as early access to every single video I post, access to exclusive videos that don't get posted anywhere else, or at the highest tier, our biggest bear tier, you'll get a shout out in every single one of my videos, like Jacob Burns, who is an early adopter of the biggest bear tier. Thank you so much, Jacob Burns. You're awesome. Uh, at Mr. Cello Rocker right here on YouTube. So uh, until next time, I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you then. Bye.